Oh, you in here? There you are. Okay. Afternoon, everyone. Uh, usual procedures apply as always. We'll start with Sky and Paul Gilmore's here for them today. Uh, Daily's briefing afterwards, embargo till 10.30, and we ask no social media posting uh, during any part of the broadcast press conference. So, Paul, if you want to get us underway. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Is that ahead of schedule? Is that pretty much on schedule as you expected? I would say a little bit ahead. It gives me a gives me a hope of instead of one two matches, three four five. I don't know. Uh, just speculating a little bit, but the feelings are good. Is is uh, doing what he can do at this stage, but always with a good feeling. Uh, sometimes follow the protocols and then some step backs because of not the best feeling on, on this action or that movement. Everything is going is going well. He's having very good feelings. So positive, yeah. Have you both got into your mind that he could possibly target? No, no, no. When he was injured I I I, I told for me for me, I forget him. Uh, then I told you, let's see, one, two games, Crystal Palace, uh, Leicester. In this moment, I have better, better hopes than, than that. So hopefully, hopefully that that feeling is, is right, and they can help us in in the last part of the season. What's his mindset like? Do you get the sense from him that he is pushing? For of course, in the club, uh, people know him much better than than I do. Uh, for me, it's three months. Uh, in here, years and years. Every time he has a little problem, he's that kind of uh, of guy that doesn't accept um, protocols, doesn't accept uh, a date, a fixture. He always tries to go ahead, so he's the kind of guy that you must have a very good control and a very good communication because the feelings of the players, the mentalities of the players, sometimes they break protocols and sometimes they bring them earlier than expected. Happened with Hugo. So Hugo played a couple of weeks before we, we could expect. So let's see with, with Harry, but he's obviously a, a great professional and, and a fighter and he wants to be as as soon as possible, but what is that as soon as possible? I, I, I don't know. I was wondering if you could clear something up around Kyung Min Sun. There was some talk that he could possibly be back earlier, possibly could play with a cast on his arm at some point. Is that, is that something? That's another hope, uh, but of course we are far from it. Uh, he's coming back to, uh, to England uh, very soon, uh, then of course we will have to, to follow some safety protocols because obviously he, he flies from from Seoul and then when his recovering process uh, started we are going obviously to try all the possibilities to have him to have him back for some matches and and again I, I, I cannot imagine when I'm not going to risk when but there is a good possibility that uh, before the end of the season, we have Harry and Sonny playing together. From a Delhi Ali point of view, I just want, is he likely to accept that charge or, or is he likely to request a, a private area? What's the situation with that and how do you feel about the charge? Look, I, I, I forgot it. I forgot it because it was so long time ago. And, um, and after an obvious and clear and immediate public apology. I, I just forgot about it. Uh, somehow, a couple of days ago, somebody made me remember it. But in this moment, I don't want to make any comment. What are the reasons for that delay? I don't know. I don't know. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
is doing a fantastic uh, work. Um, we are in a generation where sometimes uh, coaches, they get jobs and nobody knows why. Uh, in this case, it's just about his work. Work and work and work and prove how good he is and prove that, in my opinion, uh, I hope that the Wolves fans and board, they, they forgive me. I think he has, he has conditions for bigger. So I hope that one day the bigger comes because he's doing a fantastic work. I mean, he hasn't got your charisma. He's, he's, he's a nice enough guy. He, has, he hasn't got your charisma. What's that? Um, fun. Character. Ah, ca ca charisma and character doesn't win matches. What win matches is the potential that you, the potential that you have. Uh, what's that charisma? There are so many charismatic guys that they, 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 they don't even they think the ball is, is squared. Yeah, come on. Nuno is, is a very good coach, very good. And finally, it's, it's the start of what is a big kind of week, two weeks for you with Premier League, the FA Cup, which I know. Yeah, you and the Champions League. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a big week. Uh, last week we felt, we felt very difficult because we had to play three matches in a row. And uh, of course, our squad in this moment is a squad with some, with some difficulties. Especially, we we are not in conditions to make rotations and to rest players and to be stronger in some match than than some other. In this moment, we are what we are. We we have 16, 17 players that are always selected for for matches, so it's going to be hard. I, I can imagine that when we arrive on the fourth match. Of these, uh, of these 10 days, and the fourth match will be a knockout one, uh, even with a possible extra time to be played. I think we are going to, to arrive there in our limits. But um, let's not think about it, let's think about Wolves. And at the Wolves game, we arrive in, in a good condition after a good, a good week where we, we manage to rest and to work really hard and to be now waiting for the game. Okay. Amy, did you want a question? Yes. 19 to 20 matches in two time. If you were assessing the time you've had here, how pleased are you? I know obviously you've had massive injury problems. Are you pleased otherwise the current going? I'm pleased. According to the circumstances, I am pleased. Of course, independent of the unlucky situations that we, we had with injuries, independent of that, I always want uh, more and I, I always uh, realize that we have to improve in so, so many things. But according to, the, to all the difficulties, because we are not sh just speaking about some injuries, we are speaking about big injuries and every player is important, but there are players that because of their status, because of their charisma, uh, they are more important than, than, than others. So when you lose Hugo Lloris and Harry Kane and Musa Sissoko and uh, Son, boom, really, really hard. But um, every day that we work is going to be a, an important work regarding the, the future. I know them better, they know me better. I think when you go through difficult moments, um, is very hard, but at the same time, you can learn a lot about yourself and about uh, the others. My experience before uh, Spurs, the only experience that I had of coming to a club in, uh, I think it was January, was in Porto. And that half of season, was so, 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 so strong. But then the next season was very good and the next season was historical. So let's face this difficult moment for everyone, not in a dramatic way, but fighting for what we can fight this, this season. We can fight. We can fight. And, uh, and then next season will be a... A better one, I believe.
I just have one question on this. I understand what you're saying to Paul about the fact that you're obviously a non medical professional or football manager. But just with the coronavirus and specifically with football, and today Steve Bruce has been saying that they've banned handshaking at Newcastle. Is there anything specific that you're doing here day in, day out with the players because of coronavirus? And also that yesterday we heard from the chief medical officers saying that they were considering perhaps a ban on major events for two months. Is this something that's on your mind that football matches could be banned? Anything to do with us, I'll give it to you after. That's probably the easiest thing. All right, thank you. Go to Charlie. Just wondering, Josie, um, when you, after your first game, West Ham, you talked about playing the positional material passing one. Um, and the last few weeks, sort of playing almost without conventional position midfielders, you know, Winks and the Celso. Just wonder if you could talk about like, how you've made that work, um, with that sort of pairing, that classic position midfielding. Without? Yeah. No, it's like that for someone like a Dyer, is it? It's a, more, it's a more offensive way to play. Mm. So don't be critical. <laughs> <laughs> It's a more offensive way to play. It's a, it's, it's a way to try to compensate a lack of attacking power. So if you don't have the goal scorers that can score goals in, in f f very few occasions that you can create, you can be more solid. If you don't have that, you have to try to have people more creation, people that can try also from behind to have a more forward thinking instead of be the typical player that recovers the ball and keep it simple and lateral passes and square passes is somebody with with a different vision somebody that for example Los Celso can arrive can create Dombella can arrive can create Wings I think is improving a lot a lot I think uh, he he sinks much more forward than uh, than before. He tries even the, the the area of his movement. He was much more positional than he is now. Now you can see wings on the left, on the right, uh, doing that. So he's trying to compensate problems that we have with a different with a different perspective. Okay, finish with Ali. Uh, Jose, has Eric Lamella been able to train with the squad? No, Still not. zero. Zero training sessions with the team. Is that that kind of lack of confidence himself and his body? No, he has a he has a problem. But I believe that Sunday he will be on the bench, and he will will give us again what he can. And uh, the talent is there, the desire is is there. Amazing guy, amazing amazing uh, professional. So to in normal circumstances you don't train, you don't play. Uh, in this moment, uh, in our attacking areas, you don't train, but you can give us something. Thank you very much for that. So he's not training. I believe that tomorrow you will be training with us. And I believe that Sunday he can be on the bench and give us his talent for 20 minutes, for 25, but we need his talent. Uh, played in a more advanced role kind of centrally quite a lot on Saturday. What did you make of it? He's obviously poor for everything, but what do you think of him as that more advanced player? <laughs> it's not his position. It's as simple as as that. It's the same thing that you take uh, uh, Davison Sanchez and you play him right back. He can. He tries everything, but he's not a he's not a right back. It's the same thing you play Vertonghen left back. He's not a left back, he's a centre back. Can he play left back? Can, he helps. That's what Steven tried to do in the, in the game against, uh, against Chelsea. And I think he didn't do better because he was under huge fatigue of 90 minutes against, against Leipzig. Because if he could be uh, fresh, he can give us much more uh, movement than he did. He can be much more aggressive than he was. So he tries. He tries. So, just one more from Stanley, just here. Jose, um, Jürgen Klopp has described the Adama Traore as sometimes unplayable. What have you made of his performances and do you regard him as someone that you might have a special plan to stop? It's very difficult to stop. If you want to stop on, uh, 
on um, a sprint with him, you just forget it. You have no, you have no chance. So you cannot think about him as an individual. You have to think about him as a as a whole. And of course, it's it's very very difficult to to stop. He's so so fast, and he's so not just fast, fast and 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 powerful. That is very very difficult to to stop. And he had a, a great evolution with Nuno in the past couple of uh, of seasons. In this moment, is a uh, is a better player. My my former assistant Karanka was his coach in in uh, Middlesbrough, and at that time he told me immediately, "I have I have this boy that uh, when he understands the game better and he has time to technically improve, I have a guy that is going to be unstoppable." And okay, unstoppable is is a hard word in football, but he's a very difficult player. Have the cameras off now, please. Thank you. Finish. You wish.